Hi, it's uh, Bob from Lapbook here, and I'm in uh, Clantrisson with Sean from Chick Levers. <laughs> Hi, and it's uh, Bob from Lapbook here in sunny Wales. Look, sunglasses, <laughs> <laughs> not a coat, not a cagoule. And it, I'm here in Clantrisson with um, Sean from Chick Levers. Hi, Sean. Uh, well, how are you? I am good, thank you. It's not actually nice to be out in a. Yes, yeah, so we've a... uh, had rain for the week, so I was getting a bit worried <laughs> about today. But today is epically gorgeous. But today is not about the weather, it's about what you do. Yes. Yes, yeah, so you, so you clearly you're a leather maker. Yes. So let's hear a little bit about how you got into this and what you, what you make. Uh, so, my background is I'm a, I've am got BA honours in uh, prop design and fabrication. Yep. I did that in the University of South Wales. I've done uh, some jobs as a prop maker for TV and film. Mm -hmm. uh, and so, I'm a LARPer, I'm a member of uh, Fools and Heroes Cardiff. Okay. Uh, where I go, I also go up to Bristol sometimes. But um, I started off, I uh, picked up level working as an extra skill because yeah. uh, I was struggling to find work in the TV and film industry so I wanted yeah. to push myself out there, learn something that a lot of people haven't got. Yeah. And uh, actually in the process I was actually working in a model making company, okay. uh, making architectural models. But I ended up falling in love with level working. Right. Um, I started making my own kit yep. and it all just went from there. So I, I, first of all I started off making very basic gauntlets, armour, mm -hmm. this I uh, amping up to very simple bags. Okay. Um, and now as you can see I'm doing plague doctor masks, uh, musketeer hats, yep. I'm currently in the process of making a tricorn hat for a pirate. Nice. And a top hat. Ooh, a top hat. That sounds like a challenge. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's fun. It's yeah. a bit interesting. That's okay. So we are going to have a look at this stuff and learn more about you. But you did mention film and TV. I know you've done a couple of shows yes. listeners might be interested in. Do so you want to mention those? Uh, so when I was in university, I worked on a World War I film called Journey's End. Yep. Uh, so I made some of the props for that. And uh, two other productions I've worked on are His Dark Materials and A Discovery of Witches. However, Discovery of Witches, I was more of a set dresser instead yeah. of prop maker. But th there are some things that I made that are on His Dark Materials. Oh, nice. <laughs> That's very, very nice. Um, I was working with the... That was a bit of a work placement. Yep. I, help, I didn't design them. I helped make the we bracelets yep. that the witches oh, use nice. in yep. his, his dark materials. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's cool. Okay, so then getting back to the lab, because I noticed that some of it is, <laughs> it's not usual, which is really yeah. cool. But do you want to introduce a few of the pieces here? Uh, so this is a uh, musketeer hat. Uh, yep. This was the prototype. Uh, the ones that I make now for uh, retail, because I make these to order, there is about, they're a centimetre shorter. Okay. Uh, I didn't like how tall the this stem it was. Too much, yeah. A bit too much. Uh, these are kidney bags. Yep. Uh, 14th century kidney bags. Put on your belt. Drawstring pouches. Yep. Nice bit of space. There is actually. Uh, these, because I'm zero waste, low carbon footprint, I do not like to chuck out my leather. Brilliant. I try to use all of it. So yep. Using my scraps, I make a very variety of different things. These are minimalist card wallets. You can use them for your credit cards and uh, personal IDs. You can also fit your lammies in there for LARP, uh, which I, I, I've done myself. Yeah. I've made myself as a lammy holder. That's uh, so good. I need those to last. Need those to last. Uh, I make my own leather balm. Uh, Oh, that's such a good idea because looking after leather yes, kits. Looking after leather matters. <laughs> you need to do it. Yeah. Twice a year. Yeah. Balm it twice a year. It's an essential thing. Otherwise, your leather's gonna crack. It's gonna mold. Yeah. It's not good. That's, uh, that's true. Uh, these are little, quite large drawstring bags. They're good uh, size drawstring bag. Yeah. Very good size. The way I do these, it's. Basically, they'll always come with the Celtic knot design on it, and you can either get them in green, yeah. blue, or red. Yeah. Uh, the way I do it is every time if someone buys them, uh, I make one to replace it. Yeah. These will always be in stock on my website. Cool. So, the, so the, those are literal not made to order. As somebody buys, these you make another are, one. Yeah, yeah, these are stocked items. Yeah. Uh, as going back again. Uh, I don't like leaving scraps. I don't like chucking them away. 
little drawstring pack. Fits on your belt. Put your coins. Yeah. Little laugh coins in there. Nice little pouch. That 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 likes to fall over. Yeah, the, the paid doctor has fallen over again. That's okay. <laughs> yes. Uh, let's see. Demi gauntlets. Mm -hmm. Nice, thick, sturdy demi gauntlets. Yeah. That's really hefty, actually. No, this is four millimeter leather. That's Pro uh, it's not what I would call proper armoring leather. Yeah. It is the baseline for armor. It's good for lap. For yeah. everything else. Uh, this yeah. was so a fun little project I made last year at the height of the, the pandemic. What else would you make? <laughs> what else would I make? Uh, Plague Doctor Mask. Uh, it, not my pattern. Yeah. This is um, one by uh, Diesel Punk. Okay. He uh, supplies a lot of really good patterns. Uh, yeah. Along with this helmet, one of the first helmets I made. Yeah. Uh, it's a Diesel Punk style helmet. That is nice. Yes. It's currently on sale, by the way. Okay. We're doing a good offer on that one. Pop that down. That's cool. So, yeah. Uh, this is a piece I'm working on for my Ooh. next... Uh, yeah. My next actual Fools and Heroes character. Yeah. It's going to be Feudal Knight, uh, follower of Longstall. So, I need to make the... You need a kit, and that's, that's a that beautiful that. piece of work on that, yeah. Uh, the beauty with leather is you can personalise it. Yeah. You can buy these and they will just be plain. Yeah. And the majority of stuff on my website you will find are plain. Okay. You won't find, like, you, I, sometimes you'll go in, you'll see, oh, tooled special, because I just wanted to do a bit of tooling, so I made it. <laughs> and now it's a special piece. It's a special piece that I've got on my website. Mm -hmm. But a lot of the time, with leather, a lot of the time the custom leather pieces you buy are for a specific character. Yeah. You wear it once, your character dies. Yeah. You've got to get rid of it. You can't use it again because that character's gone. Yeah. But why not just have the items that you want constantly throughout your characters? Yeah. So a lot of my stuff are generic. Mm -hmm. uh, just either dark brown, black, or any colour you want them to be. Yeah. Uh, so this piece, as I said, you can buy this plain uh, it'll be on my website yeah, very soon as good. i make a plain version because i don't like taking photos of the decorative ones yeah so that would be quite mm. nice good. sorry about that that's okay and the last product that i've got oh i also do belts <laughs> belts are good the last product i want to talk the about one we mentioned uh, the reason for holding off on this one folks <laughs> is my own design it's small compact fits on your belt most laps you need healing you need your alchemy and the most annoying thing is having your alchemy in all of your bags you're struggling to find it so have it all in one place okay these are available on my website and yeah. they come fully stocked with the vials. Because you've got a thing, haven't you? You hate selling stuff with slots. Yeah, empty. I, I, because sometimes, like, because I make them for, like, the, with the way I make work with my leather, I make it to fit specific slots, mm -hmm. uh, specific uh, products into specific slots. Yeah. So if when you buy these things on all of these LARP websites and they come empty and now you've got to scroll and try and find and now you've got to go through lots and lots of product go oh, which, which one's going to be the yeah, right length which one's going to fit which one's going to fit which yeah. one's going to be the right length so I buy in the vials I supply the vials and on my website very soon I'll actually have the vials available for you to buy as replacement pieces. That's a good idea because over time you will need new ones. Yes, you will need new ones. That's smart because people can come um, back and I just pick those up. I also make a larger one which yep. holds 58 al vials of alchemy. And I'm currently working and designing a uh, prototype of my adventurer's bag. Yeah. Which will have 20 vials of alchemy. Okay, that's plenty. A notebook, little drawstring pa pocket, pen holder. Approximately, I still need to find work out the placement. Yep. Approximately eight bandages. Yep. And a wooden stake. <laughs> All on one little bag that's very compact, fit on your belt, or have a shoulder strap that you can wear. Uh, all in one little one space. Yeah. 
that's about the sounds too good. That's it. That sounds too much fun to have. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I hate having to wear multiple bags. Yeah. Because um, Fools and Heroes is combat lap. Yeah. It's a very combat heavy lap. So when you've got loads of items ca carrying on you, it's dragging down on your belt. It's true. It's hard. I've had belts fall down in the past or near fall down, which can be really so, embarrassing. Yeah, when you've got one item on your kit. Yep. that you can put everything there that works i also sell bundles um, oh, go on. i've got a starter bundle which is a basic ba a hip bag a sword frog and a belt yeah and i also have this thing i call the alchemist bundle yep where you get an alchemy uh vial roll yep two basic bracers yep. each bracer will hold five vials of alchemy okay and a belt <laughs> that's a nice bundle Yes, <laughs> it's uh, purely uh, practical. It really helps people, yeah. especially those who are new to LARP who are looking for getting started and don't know where to go. Actually, that is the hard part is when you get started, there's so many options. Exactly. Having a, a few traders who go, yeah, but try this and yeah. you kind of set up. Exactly. It's no bad thing. Exactly. That's really, really interesting. So, now, I believe we're going to be making something with you as well, aren't we? Yes, we are um, going to be making one of these. Yep. This is a historical horn bracer, uh, 14th century. Uh, there's a local man, uh, a Fletcher, who does historical fletching. This is based off his arch uh, archery bracer that he showed me. I took photos of it and I recreated it. Yeah. Uh, we're going to be working in. Uh, we've already sat down. We've, uh, we've you've helped me design it because we're having a bit of fun with this one. We're having a bit of fun. Too. We've designed a stamp to go on. We've, we've already done that bit of work. The next part, though, we're just waiting for that to be ready for the next piece of work. Yes. Although I do like the idea of having a LARPing kit that's, that's historically inspired. Yes. Uh, almost everything I try to do is historically inspired. So a lot of my buckles, such as uh, these one be here. Okay. These are replicas of surviving historical pieces. Okay, that's nice. Um, so these are Viking, these were found on Viking pieces. Yeah. Uh, the buckle that's on the hat. Go on, let's have a nice bit over for a nice close up for, for the camera. That is a replica of a Rus mm -hmm. buckle. Yep. And I do have a couple of buckles with me right over here before I bring them up. Uh, some of these aren't historical. Yeah. Uh, they're nice little ones. Like, oh, Oops. Oh, oh. There's one escaping. Uh, the Here we go. dragon one I've got. I think wrong with the dragon buckle. A nice little raven buckle. Yep. This one I'm saving for a nice little project. Yeah, that's a good buckle. That needs uh, something good to go on. And then last one i'll show you here yep actually uh so these are like my generic ones uh that's what go on the majority of my projects yeah you got you have a selection of buckles some of them really uh, uh, nice yeah. some of them quite, quite general which is fair and then these are my basic belt buckles these are actually what go on reenactment belts right so they're reenactment quality and these they're reenactment quality that's a really nice yes but uh, as uh, everything's on my website, I've got a selection of stamps. I've got 21 uh, yes. decorative stamps. However, as you saw with that bracer there, I can do quite a few things um, yeah. because I got the bevelers and everything. Yeah. So I can do true customization for all so you, of your level. So work. you do take custom orders and customizations? I take, I, the majority of my work at the moment is custom orders. Really nice. Okay. You better tell people where that website is and how people can get in so touch with you. My website is uh, checklevers.com. That's C H I C K. And levers is L E A T H E R. Uh, you can find everything there. You can fill in custom uh, forms so you can send me answers. You can also see the majority of my um, work that I've got there, sort of like generic pieces that you can custom order because, as said, a lot of my stuff is made to order. And I would like to add, please bear in mind, I'm a one... I'm the only person working here. Yeah. <laughs> um, it might take you. It might take a while for me to get your product out. So give give you a bit of time because give me time. Yeah. yeah that's fair. Because it, yeah, it can take a while. Oh. And if if you need a rush order, put it in the comments in when you fill fill in your uh, basket. 
because if you need it by a certain date I'll try my best for you. Oh, that's great Sean, thank you. No. And now Sean has a special message for all of you. Sean. Uh, so you know just basic bit of a feeling and yep. playing it a bit safe. I have a feeling LARP will be back around September to anywhere next year. You never know what's going to happen these no days. No one knows. Uh, but until then, until September, if you use the code LARPBOOK in my website checkout, you can get 10% off any orders. Brilliant. Thank you, Sean. No worries. So now you've had a chance to learn a little bit about Sean and Chick Levers. Uh, Sean did a great video that's showing us how to make a bracer. So follow the link and go look and see how some of this stuff is actually made.